one of my favorite <laughs> champions for years. It'll work. We'll see if Team Solo Mid can keep their right head. We heard a lot of the teams saying it was something they couldn't fix, just a, a tilt of... 500 gold away from his needlessly large rod, which is really far behind. Although Dyrus is pushed up with no turret. Bad place to be. Cast on the hunt. Doesn't look like he's going to get any help up here. He should go down eventually. The rest of the team is working on Dragon towards the bot lane. And Dyrus is going to go down for the better, you could say. Somewhat, if Medios is going to be up there, though, that's just not a place back in. Yeah. Many situations. Oh, there it is on the hunt. Throws down the gravity field. It flashed over the wall. Death Charge is going to go off to the side, and they are right onto Incarnation. They let him run through the lane, and then they actually flanked Cloud9 on their own initiation. Team Solo mid now onto Lemon, and it looks like they will be able to continue down the pressure right to the inhibitor turret. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff taken by TSM. They get to choose their own adventure here. Where do they want to take the advantage? Well, TSM wanted to double team that blue buff, which means Cloud9 might try and harass this dragon a little bit. It's going down low. Balls and Sneaky drive the 2v3. That here. turtle damage onto Sneaky. Already half health, two shots. Great spell shield to stop the last one. Sneaky can't get another shot on a turtle. That lantern was amazing by Lost Boy. Now Balls overheats in the fight. Lemon stuck with the rest of the team and Medios on the top side here. So split on either side of the dragon. Nobody going down just yet, but they finally find all the HP of Bjergsen and cut him down. Both summoners used there, and it looks like TSM backs. No ultimates down for TSM, although Bjergsen is sitting at half health without heal. Tries to zone there. This could be Dragon 4. It is. Dragon TSM should fight. 4. That puts the timer on. C9 has to do something big before 5 comes up. That's six more minutes. And so far, one kill on Dyrus is going to help that cause. Looking at Turtle now. Lost Boy puts up the box. That's going to stop the rest of the team from clearing through. It's the flash body slam on a Turtle. Balls picks up the kill. Anchor Toss just missing Lost Boy, but there should be enough to take him down. And that's Incarnation with the living artillery picking himself up. Tower sieging from these two teams is. <laughs> Not that great. A little bit Yeah, a little Sivir iffy. and Urgot are the AD carries trying to get it from oh. both sides. And this is a brute force teleport engage. Dyrus coming in from the backside there. Did not see that, but Cloud9 forced to use the Sivir ult to put themselves back in the fight. There's two for Incarnation. Looking for a third one. Actually puts more damage on the turtle, so he cannot stay in the fight. Bjergsen with a sliver of health gets out of this one. And it looks like they are going to have control of the inhibitor. And with Victor right now, maybe enough for a top lane turret if they don't Jeez. have to enter the base. They're going to have to be careful. That damage onto Incarnation makes them think twice. They lose a bit of auto attack damage onto the turret, and they may not have enough to clean this one up. Lemon Nation gets taken down by the Afterburst. You can watch the pre-fight poke here from Incarnation. That's the key. He has a blue buff, which is oh. huge, and they end up fighting up top. Incarnation's around the wall. That's Balls looking to throw down. Go back and forth. A lot of good damage done on both sides here. Mostly the Lemonation, though, is look at TSM's health bars. They are feeling too good. That's the Equalizer. Splits Dyer's from the team, but only for a little bit. Goes for the Flash Body Slam. Doesn't get Just him. in the middle. Did not get them. And they're able to react. Bjergsen very low, but still fighting from the outside. And that's going to be Turtle going down. All summoner spells used by him before he got that off to give the team a little bit more oomph in the fight. 50 seconds just about on the members of C9. Oh. There's another one down as Bjergsen pretty much one shots out in the Lemon Nation. TSM is just kind of getting the stragglers right. Had already thrown that on throughout the, the drag. The minion. The fiasco. They had things planned ahead. They're setting the chess pieces in order before they really need it. Oh, the red carpet laid out for Team Solo Mid nicely from Balls there. They're going to take quite a bit of damage. It may be enough to finalize a few kills in this fight. Balls over the wall, but then he just Zanyas, and he's able to keep enough damage onto Lust Boy along with Sneaky to get another kill. That's going to be Balls going down by the hands of Bjergsen. Perfect lane to promote the minion because they know they're going to be playing this around the Baron right now. And someone needs to go down and deal with that giant minion wave, but Whoa. they have to fight now. That choke point, though. That Ludens hit coming out as well. They're going to wipe down Team Solo mid here. Bjergsen very low, can only do a few things from the outside, and he might cast his last ability here. His death comes from the explosive cast, and a slam of the belly coming in from Medios. A triple kill for Sneaky. Balls chasing out Dyrus, and potentially an inside the park ace here, as Dyrus won't be able to do much for the team, but run away. That choke point that TSM walks through Cloud9 again. 45 minutes in, over 100 CS behind. Incarnation held his breath in that mid lane, making sure he could make it to the mid, make it to the late with his team. Dyrus doing his damnedest here to shut down Cloud9, who already had the head-to-head -head against Team Solo Mid, and look to stretch it just a little bit more. 45 minutes on the clock. 
TSM trying one last time to go for broke on the stoppage, and Cloud9 pick up the first win of the summer split over Team Solo Mid. Wow. Against the defending champs right there, too. Down 100 plus CS in the mid lane. Five dragons to zero. Yet Woo. Cloud9 wins the team fights down the stretch. The Rumble Ultimates from Balls in the critical choke point. Sneaky staying alive in the team fights. And the Ludens procs there from 